got the voltage input here. 5.3 feeds uh, about six inches here, and then this bit is uh, 12 inches from here to the card under here. When I power it up, I have a 0.1 uh, volt drop, and then once it starts transmitting, it kind of bounces between 5.1 and uh, 5 volts, but it seems like it's settled at 5.1. And I just think it kind of maxed out on the 30 dBm, 1000 milliwatts of this immersion RC. Five point three, five point two. Five point two is within uh, six inches of where it connects to the card. So I'm guessing that could be another point one volt drop by the time it actually gets into the PCB on the card. Let's let this boot. I'm trying to make sure that the we're looking for a lower milliwatt, maybe around 500 right now. Oh, you know, I need to reboot again. <clears throat> yeah, if you don't plug in the Wi-Fi card right when it boots up, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't initialize the Wi-Fi cards, so again, we're trying to look for 500 milliwatt here, or something lower than the 941 that it was at. There we go. So when it's set to 52, we're getting around 300 milliwatt. So now. I'll unplug the USB, which allows me to use my Wi-Fi dongle. This, uh, Alt 12, got the screen. All right, I'm trying to set it from 52 to 58 now. We'll see. We were at 300. Um, let me reboot. All right, again, this is 58. Uh, fi I set 58 dBm on the Atheros Ubiquity Wi-Fi Station EXT. Oh crap, I didn't plug the thing in. Dang it. Okay. This is 58. Setting 58 dBm in Wi-Fi broadcast. Um, using a 1000 microfarad uh, 25 volt capacitor on the output and a 50 volt on the input side. There we go. So at 58 dBm, I mean, we're basically maxed out there.
All right, so now we're set at uh, 63. This would be the max. I don't think it's needed for these uh, Wi-Fi stations. So we dropped from 5.2 down to about 5.1, and I mean, we're getting the exact same readings at 63 that we did at 58, so. My guess is we're just at the max um, capability of this unit. Um, I'm going to throw another 30 dB attenuator on here just to see what we get. I'm not sure if that's even an accurate measurement since this thing is really only rated at um, one watt. Okay, I have uh, uh, two 30 dB attenuators. Again, I, I don't know if this is, is even considered an accurate test, but I was able to set 60 dB attenuation in here. So starting out, I had 5.3 at the source. That drops to 5.2 here. And then I got uh, five, bouncing around five and 5.1 there. So that's what the TX set at 63. All right, now we're set to, I set it to 60. So set uh, TX power to 60 in here. And we're at 60 dB attenuation on the merging RC. Oops. And yeah, I'm starting to see a pattern here, like 58 to 60 for the TX power. Even though I don't think this is as accurate as real test equipment, but... Uh, you know, I've noticed every time I test that area between 58 and 60 dB for the TX power on this seems to a be more stable the max isn't jumping around as much and it's just higher output it's just a higher output so <clears throat> sorry i was waiting for a second a wasp uh pretty much landed on my shoulder. Freaked me out. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think you want to set these up to 63, assuming you have stable voltage. I mean, I set my, this originally to 5.3, and it only goes to the tenths, so... I mean, it's kind of bouncing around there. 5.2, 5.3. So I, if I had to guess, it's probably 5.28 volts at the source. And by the time it gets to six inches before the card, that's from right uh, there to underneath here. It's bouncing around between 5 and 5.0. So if you have a, a BEC that's at 5 volts and it's more than 12 inches away, I mean, it's probably dropping to 4.7 volts. And this is 20 gauge uh, power wire here on this USB cable. So, I'm sure it's even lower once it gets into the, through the connection, the micro USB connection goes through the PCB to the source, so.